Do you use company cam in your painting business or home service business? If you do, I want to show you how to automatically create company cam projects with addresses, customer information and all that. So when your team shows up to the project, they don't have to create anything. It's all there waiting for them. And the way that we're going to do that is using Zapier, which is going to connect to your CRM system or booking tool and automatically take the customer information and pass it directly over to company cam to automatically create those projects for you. So if that's of interest, stick around and we'll show you exactly step-by-step -step how to do that. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris. I'm the owner of Boolean Automation, where our mission is to free you up to do what you love. And we do that in two primary ways. The first is with custom automation consulting and implementation specifically for painting companies. The second way is more broadly for home service or other B2C companies, and that's with the Boolean Review software. This is a fantastic software that automates, completely automates the act of getting Google reviews for your business. So if you're a B2C company, especially if you're in the home service space and you want awesome reviews that mention employees by name, stories of, your, of the interactions with employees and photos of their projects, you have to check out the Boolean review system. Without further ado, check out the links below, but let's get into using company cam and automating the creation of projects in the automation here. So first thing you're gonna do, I always recommend this, map out what it is you're trying to accomplish. When an estimate is booked, for example, that could be the trigger, we want to create a company cam project. This is an extremely simple automation, but keep in mind that you could end up making something that's a little more, you know, that has more stuff going on. It could be when an estimate is booked, I want to send a confirmation text and then a paint scout, or create a paint scout quote and then create a company cam project and create a new deal in my CRM system. Whatever that process is, map it out in advance because it's very important to know when and how things are happening in your business. And just to give you an idea, when we work with uh, other painting companies, one of the things that we do is we help them map out from start to finish every single thing that happens in their business. So this is a process flow here of everything that happens inside of a painting company from the moment that a business starts working or from the moment that a customer reaches out to the business all the way through the entire process of invoicing that customer. If this is something that's interesting to you, reach out to us, feel free to book a free consultation, but this is what we do all day long. However, what we're talking about in this video is just fixing this very simple problem of when an estimate is booked, create a company cam project. So the first thing that I recommend is getting a booking software. Something like You Can Book Me is fantastic. It's a simple tool, but Calendly, HubSpot has its own booking tool built into it. All of those is just some tool that can allow either the customer or your admin staff to automatically schedule a time on your estimator's calendar. So in this case, I created a very simple booking page here. I'm not gonna go into how to build out a booking page because this part is relatively uh, straightforward, but you can build custom questions to answer the exact things that you want. So ultimately the form ends up looking something like this. And I can go, you know, I can select the time of day that I want to have the appointment happen, but then I can have the customer fill out this type of form. I did make another video, which I'll link below where I went through actually building out these forms, but we're going to assume that you've already done that or you know how to build out the You Can Book Me form. So the next thing that you have to do, again, this also works if you're not using You Can Book Me, you could be using a different software. You come over to Zapier. And we're going to create a very simple two-step zap here. So I've already selected the applications here. To do that is very simple. You just, you know, create a Zapier account, make a new one. Um, if this is something that you need assistance with, just drop a comment below and, you know, I'll make a special video on this process of like literally setting up a Zapier account from scratch. In fact, I'd probably say, go look it up on YouTube. There's probably someone that could help walk you through that. But what we're talking about here is we connect You Can Book Me. So you have to connect your You Can Book Me account to Zapier. And then we want when a new booking happens, that's going to be our trigger. So I've already done that. I'm connecting it to the profile that I created in the previous one. And now I'm going to pull in my test data. So when that test data comes in, I can then go over to or add the next action, which would be company cam. And I want to do the create a project. 
So we're going to add a project and click continue. We're going to connect an account here and we got that one and hit continue. And now we're going to take the name of the project and put it in here. So what I highly recommend doing is consistently naming your projects in all of the apps that you have the same way. So if you have job numbers, always make sure that you start with that job number um, process. I'm going to have a placeholder here for now because there's another system or logic that I do to create unique job numbers that we can cover that in a different video if that's of interest to you. But I usually recommend doing something like last name of the customer, first name of the customer, and then the project type that the customer is interested in. And then I also, depending on you know the person, you can also include, or depending on how many estimators you have, sometimes it's nice to include who the estimator was on the project. Then you're going to put in the street address. So we've got street, and then we've got the, we don't have a street address too. Then we're gonna take the city, put that in there, the state and the zip and the external ID. This is actually useful. I'll probably link to a separate video on how we can use this external ID to connect things together. Primary contact here. So we're going to put in first name and last name and contact email and contact phone. So that is literally it. That's all you need to do to automatically create this. We'll go ahead and test. And now the beautiful thing about this is when a booking happens, automatically you're going to create a project inside of Company Cam. So if I go look over here, I can go search for Vader. And I just created a new project right here that is completely ready for my team when they get to the job, whether that's the estimator. It pulled in the contact information of the estimator and it also has the address. So really handy thing with Company Cam is that when you use Company Cam, when you show up on the mobile app, it'll show you nearby jobs so your crews can just hop right into it. That's the basic creating a project from scratch or having projects automatically created in Company Cam. But I just wanna point out that if you want to have other things happen after the booking is made, Inside of Zapier here, I mean, after you make your map of what it is that you're trying to accomplish, if it's sending a text, creating a quote in Paint Scout, which is a fantastic software for estimating if you've ever, if you've never looked into that before. But I can just go in here and do a very similar process to add in a Paint Scout step to create a quote. I could add in using something like Kixi, I can send a text message. Text request is another popular text message one. If I use HubSpot as my CRM, I can create a contact, I can create a deal, but all of that stuff can happen from the point of the booking taking place. So if this is stuff that is of interest to you, if you're a painting company, I've got a course that goes through all of this and more, but it's like automating is one thing, doing it in such a way where you've planned out and you're intentional about how data flows from one part to another. That's the part that it's almost like an art and you've got to finesse that. So that's what we do at Boolean Automation. Hopefully this was helpful for you if you've never dabbled in this, but there's so many little tasks like this that are very easy to implement or take, you know, five to five minutes to 30 minutes to set up and it saves, you know, 30 seconds, 60 seconds every time your team shows up. But not only that, it eliminates the possibility of error and it keeps all of your data consistent which allows you to move faster and you're, you know, you're not having your team spend time trying to track down where projects ended up or why things aren't matching. If you need more help, consider checking out the links that I mentioned down below. Also consider subscribing if you're a painting business owner or an operations person at a painting company and you're looking to make your business more efficient. Go build those automations to free yourself up to do what you love.